Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you do not want to miss any informative video in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on the channel. In this video, I am going to explain, step-by-step -step procedure to perform calibration of Omega TX93 thermocouple transmitter. First of all, let's see, what do we need in calibration kit to perform calibration of thermocouple transmitter. Firstly, we need thermocouple simulator. In this example, we have used Omega CL511 simulator for calibration. Secondly, we need digital voltmeter to measure analog current output of transmitter. In addition to this, 24 volt DC power supply is also required to power up the transmitter. Last but not least, we also need thermocouple wire. For example, if transmitter need to be calibrated for J-type thermocouple, then we need J-type cable to connect thermocouple simulator and transmitter. Cable type does affect calibration of thermocouple transmitter. So, it is important to select suitable cable to connect simulator and thermocouple. In this example, J-type thermocouple will be connected with transmitter after calibration of transmitter. So, this is a reason that, we have used J-type thermocouple cable. In this section, I am going to explain, how to perform calibration of Omega TX93 thermocouple transmitter. First of all, remove the thermocouple transmitter terminal housing cover. If transmitter is already connected, then remove all the thermocouple lead connections. In second step, connect 24 volt DC power supply to terminal number 1 and terminal number 2 of transmitter. In addition to this, connect digital voltmeter in series with transmitter to measure 4 to 20 mA output of thermocouple transmitter. It is important to put DVM in mA DC current measuring mode, so that you can measure 4 to 20 mA output of transmitter. In this step, connect thermocouple simulator or calibrator to terminal number 4 and terminal number 5 of transmitter by using J-type thermocouple cable. In this example, we will use Omega CL511 calibrator to give millivolt signal to transmitter. In step number 4, set up Omega CL511 simulator. So, set the thermocouple type J in simulator, and put simulator in simulation mode. You can learn setup of simulator by reading the manual of Omega CL511 simulator. I have already shared the link in the description box to download manual of simulator. After setup of simulator, we need calibration range for this thermocouple transmitter. Let's assume that, calibration range is 0 Celsius to 300 Celsius. In other words, LRV is 0 Celsius, and URV is 300 Celsius. Now, use thermoelectric voltage table for J-type thermocouple, and find out the values of millivolt at 0 degrees Celsius and 300 degrees Celsius. As you can see from the table that, millivolt value is 0 at 0 degrees Celsius. And millivolt value is 16.327 millivolts at 300 degrees Celsius. Note down both these values since we need both millivolts values for calibration of transmitter. Once you have millivolts values for both temperature, turn on the 24 volt DC power supply. Now, set 0 millivolt in simulator, and apply this voltage to transmitter. And measure milliampere signal of transmitter. Transmitter should give 4 milliamperes. But if it is slightly off, Let's say, if transmitter output is 3.96 mA, then rotate zero screw clockwise direction. And adjust output to 4 mA. Once you have adjusted zero of transmitter, apply 16.327 mV, and measure current output of transmitter. 
Measure analog current output should be 20 mA. And if it is not 20 mA. For example, let's say, if it is 19.94 mA. Then rotate span screw in clockwise direction until it becomes 20 mA. Repeat same steps few times to adjust zero in span of transmitter. Once you are done with calibration, disconnect all cable from transmitter. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about this video, please ask your questions in comment box. And if you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends.